Hi, welcome back to Bloomington Tutors. Today we're going to be doing some text functions. Now we're back here again with our Dunder Mifflin database and we have a position ID, the full name, and the phone number of our employees. We want it to be formatted in certain ways. So we're going to go ahead and use that first row, Michael Scott, as a guide. So it looks like they just want the first name from the full name column. Well, we need to identify where the first name is. It looks like it goes last name, comma, space, first name. That comma, that space is very important. Last name, comma, space, first name. So since the first is on the last end, or the right end, we'll do our right formula equals right. Okay, we'll select our cell, comma, number of characters. Now, everybody has a different number of characters in their name. Dwight is different than Jim, which is different than Ryan, which is different than Stanley, which is different than Meredith. So the only way to make sure we get somebody's first name every single time without like entering in a certain amount of characters is to do the length formula of that cell just like that, L-E-N, that cell, minus the find formula. Now doing the find formula, what do we want to find? Well, we want to find what separates. What separates the first name from the last name? Well, that comma space we recall from earlier. So in text, quotes, quote, comma, space, quote. So find the comma space. Where will we find it? In this cell. Close it, close it, there you go. This looks good to me, except let's always do a little check over here. What we wanna check is the length of it. So equals length. Okay, it says there's seven characters in Dwight. Now Dwight only has six letters in it, which means we have an extra space in there and you can kind of see it in the front since we have Michael above it. But if you didn't have it, it's always important to do your check. So we'll do minus one right here between our two parentheses. Enter. We only have six now and that extra space is gone. And look, everybody's first name. It does not matter how many characters there are. Everyone has their first name. We'll drag our check down here, and there's everyone's different amount of characters. Okay, now we want our last name. The last name is in the beginning of the full name cell, which means we'll do our left. Now, since this is in the front, we don't have to do length minus find. We just do our find. And what we want to find is what separates. So use your text quote. What separates is the comma, space, and the text, comma, where will we find it? Here. Close, close, okay? And you see that extra comma there? We don't want that. So we're gonna do again another minus one, drag it down. And just to be careful, again, we'll do our length check over here. And that is correct. There's seven characters in shrew. Okay, so that's how you do it if you do not have a set amount of characters. Now, what if you do have a set amount of characters? Everybody's phone number is the same here. Okay, when we want it to look like this. Parenthesis, area code, close parenthesis, space, first three numbers, dash, last four numbers. So we're going to do just that. Okay, so the first thing we want is a text. So quote, we want a parenthesis. Now to concatenate or to connect, we will use our ampersand symbol. Now you could also do the concatenate formula, but I find that students generally remember the ampersand a little bit better, so we'll do that for now. And what do we want to connect? The first three numbers. So, left, the phone number, how many? Three. Close. Now, if you're kind of iffy on what it looks like you're doing, you can always press enter, and there you have it. Now we can see what we're kind of working with. So now we need to close it with a um, closing parenthesis and a space. So connect with your ampersand, text, parenthesis, space, close. Now we want the middle three. This formula is mid. We need to connect with our ampersand, mid. What do we want here? We're gonna start on character four. Since the first three were already used in the area code, we'll start on four. How many do we want? Three. Then what do we want? A dash. So and connect a text dash. And what else do we want? The last four. So right, four. 
and there you have it. There's their phone number and they will look the exact throughout. And finally, we want one more thing and that is an employee ID. Now it looks like they want the employee ID to be the last three of the position ID and the first three of the full name. So this is kind of like our phone number one again, except a little less complicated. We want the last three, right? Position ID three, and those are highlighted in red there for you. And what else do we want? The first, meaning left, three of the full name. Close. And there you go. Now, if this did not make sense to you, you can always book another session with your tutor. I'm sure they'll be more than happy to help you. Again, good luck on your exams from all of us at Bloomington Tutors.